Hey everybody, it's time for Fast Fun Friday and I thought I would share today a handmade watercolor um, seller that I ran across on Instagram and she has an Etsy shop and she runs her shop in a really cool way in that she does small batch handmade watercolors and if you follow her her on Instagram I believe it's every Friday or maybe every other Friday she announces on Instagram with photographs the colors that she's releasing in limited edition for that week and it's kind of a first come first serve if you see something that you really like I'd better beat feet to her Etsy shop and grab some up because it that stuff it's awesome and it flies out of her shop and then if you miss out you may have to wait another couple weeks for the next batch to be released so that being said I had ordered some metallic colors from her one week on Instagram she was releasing a bunch of metallics and her prices are extremely reasonable and I thought well you know because I've just recently started with watercolor so I'm still building a palette of colors and I didn't really have any metallics so I thought this would be a good opportunity and um, when they arrived they she packages them in pans and I threw the wax paper away but there's a piece of wax paper on the top and then the whole thing is wrapped in the foil well in this warm warm weather that we've been having and of course they were in my mailbox um you know before I got and I was so excited to bring them in and open them up and when I peeled off the wax paper half of the paint the paint was soft and half of it came with the wax paper and I was just sick because I thought how am I going to get all of this color off of the wax paper and I didn't really want to have to try to work off of the paper as I was painting so I was kind of upset about the fact that that happened not realizing that the handmade nature I guess there's honey and different things in the handmade paint that will soften if it's warm so I contacted her through Etsy and oh my gosh you guys she was so understanding and she said the onus was on her she normally has little cards in with her orders that explain that you should pop them in the freezer for a couple of hours before you take the foil and wax paper off but she had run out of them and she said it was all her fault and she would ha be happy to replace them for me and ask me which colors got ruined and anyways excellent customer service I couldn't have asked for anything better she said I'll get some more right out to you and I'll throw in a few extras and so it just made the whole thing makes me extremely happy and very grateful that there are sellers out there who just go above and beyond so her name is Kelsey Childress the name of her company is 31 purple fish which I love I think that's really an awesome business name but on the and the second package that she sent she sent this little card with her information on it but then the care instructions are here and it does say paints will melt and remove the foil carefully and if it's sticking put it in the freezer so that I will hang on to but they came in this cute little bag had the the paints were in here and the card was in here and then in, everything was packaged in this pretty gold envelope so I have a pretty little stamp here that I'm going to save for collage so lots of attention to detail so I thought what I would do for you today is to swatch these colors out so you can see how gorgeous they are and I pre-wet these in my palette so some of these I were, was able to salvage from my original order 
and then some are the ones that she resent to me and then a couple from the original order just they're in my drawer I'll use them as spares but they're not very pretty because I kind of ruined them so let's start with the Payne's gray. I did mix some up here just to get the paint wet in the pans. And so sometimes her paint comes in the little square plastic or rectangular plastic pans. And then some come in the larger square pans. And then this little bitty guy, I think this is a quarter pan. But these are the narrower ones. So this is her Payne's gray. Payne's blue gray, I guess maybe it is. It's more, it's really quite blue and I love it. Just Payne's gray is like one of my all time favorite colors. I don't care what medium it is anyway. But, and I don't know if the camera is going to be able to pick up the sparkle in that metallic, but holy moly just amazing gorgeous and then this is called blue silver I just want to get a nice juicy amount here get a dark start you can tell that I'm new to watercolor because I just I mean I absolutely love it and I intend to keep practicing and learning but I don't have the finesse that say Miss Cece has she's amazing too Cece's creations if you don't know her look her up her YouTube channel because she just does amazing awesome watercolor work just fun really fun things Okay, and then this is True Red. But you can see they're just so soft and yummy. <laughs> Beautiful! And I don't think the red is a metallic. But it is a True Red, which I have... A couple reds in my palette of watercolor that I have gotten so far but nothing true red like this most of them have kind of more of a pink tone and then this one this was one of the ones that she just sent me that I didn't order but she sent it in the replacement package and I think she has the names written on the pans but some of them I, I have a hard time reading I think it says limerick or limerick but it's like a champagne color and it blows my mind that would be so gorgeous by itself as a highlight or layered over top of another color I think with this new camera setup, this bracket that I have bought that holds my iPad covers my iPad screen, like half of it, so I have a real hard time seeing what you're seeing. That's always something with me and cameras, right? And then this is a sap green, which I needed more better greens in my watercolor box. So this is just a nice pretty earthy okay well I'm really sorry and disappointed because I did not realize that my camera was full and the end of the video cut off as I was swatching Kelsey's colors so I think we ended with sap green after that I swatched seashells which is just a really pretty, a soft, pinky, silver, metallic. Really, really, really pretty. And then Crucible is just a true gold. It's like liquid gold, you guys. Gorgeous. And Fire is 
sort of a copper metallic. So those are the colors that I have. I love every one of them. So I just wanted to end by thanking Kelsey so much for helping me out after I ruined the first couple that I ordered and for sending me more and extra. Again, she is 31purplefish.com is her shop. And find her on Instagram at 31purplefish. Uh, like I say, it's a first come, first serve. Get her on your following list and, you know, check her out. I think it's every other Friday that she releases new colors. She also does some, like, grab bag things every once in a while, so you might be able to get in on that. They're just luscious, wonderful quality paints. And like I said, you can't beat her customer service. She's just wonderful. And I will just end because I also did a video not realizing that my camera had stopped recording. But I did a video of this piece. And what I did was the colors that were left over on my palette, I just worked wet into wet on a quarter sheet of watercolor paper to create the background and then picked up some of those same colors and splattered them. And then I just sat and did a face with a Graphitone pencil, which is a water-soluble graphite by Derwent. I just sketched her and activated the water-soluble graphite. And then here and there, her lips, her cheeks, her eyes, I added some more of those beautiful metallics that were left over on my palette. They really go a long way. But I'm happy with this. It just It's a piece of watercolor paper that was one of the signatures that I put in, whoops, that I put into this handmade journal that I made. I have a video on this if you didn't see it, but I just have different kinds of paper in here and in the center I had just some folded sheets of watercolor paper so I was able to just slide it out and work on it and then I can just I just have a elastic hairband in there to hold the signatures in place and then I can just slide it back in after I'm finished and everything is dry so I'm very happy with that too it was fun practice and I liked I just I can't get over the sparkle in those watercolors and I'm you guys know me I'm not a sparkly kind of person I don't use like glitter and embossing powder and sequins and I'm just never have been I guess because I grew up and I was pretty much of a tomboy I never got into the Barbies and the dolls and the sparkly stuff but this was a fun fast fun Friday so if you like all of this, give it a thumbs up, please. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate that. My growth has been real slow. I'm trying, you guys. I'm trying, but I would appreciate it a little appreciate a little help if you feel like giving it to share and subscribe. And now it's your turn. So go make some art. Bye.